Hi guys and welcome to this week's video from Bite Size Excel. In today's video we're going to take a look at some dynamic array formulas and how these can make it really quick and easy to do complicated searches and create drop down lists. So in this example we have a list of employees, a team, so we've got all our employees, which manager they're under and what team they're in. And what we want to do is we want to create a drop down list which has all six managers in it and then get a list of what employees those various managers manage. And we're going to use some dynamic array formulas to do this. So the first thing we want to do is we want a unique list of the managers that we have. And to do this, we're going to use the unique function. Now I do have a separate video on the unique function. If you'd like to know a little bit more about this, I'll link to it in the description below. But essentially we type unique, we select the list that we want. Now I've got this set up as an Excel table, so it's quite easy. We get our employee list manager and we just hit enter and you get a list of managers. In this instance, they're out of sequence. We actually might want to be sorted. So we're just going to wrap this up in a sort function. So we're going to sort that array. We don't want any of the optional parameters. We're just going to hit enter. And you see we've got our managers one to six. Now this is what we're going to use in our drop down list. So go to data validation on your data tab, click on the list. And what we want to do is we want to select where that dynamic array is in. And to make sure we get the whole list, what you can do when you've got a dynamic formula that spills into cells below, we can just put a hash onto the end of this cell here and it will pick up all the spill values. So click OK. And we'll note that in our drop down list here now, we've got our managers one through to six. Finally, what we want to do is we want to search by the manager and return what employees they manage. And to do this, we're going to use a dynamic formula, which is filter. So we're going to go filter. The first argument is what you want to filter. So we want to filter our employees. Then we put a comma in. And the second one is what the parameter is where we want to include them. So we want to be looking up our manager. And if it's equal to this cell here, we'll press F4 to make that absolute. And the last parameter is optional, but say we might want to put in not found if there are no employees found. Close our brackets and hit enter. And because I've not selected a manager, we're getting the result not found. But if I now start to select manager one, we get a list of the employees that they manage. So if we were to filter this and look at it in the same way, you can see that those two lists are the same. We can then cycle through all the others and it will give us a list of the staff that they manage. And if you have a large data set and want to return some other values, you can use things like XLOOKUP. And again, I'll link some of my previous videos in the description below if you're interested in finding a little bit more about XLOOKUP. So that's a quick example of how you can use dynamic array formulas to make life much easier and to do some more advanced lookups within your workbook. If there's anything particular that you'd like to see or any particular question you have on how to use these properly, do let me know in a comment. Remember to like, subscribe, and I do look forward to seeing you in the next video.